Vegans have like severe um, mental issues where you can tell them vegan, that paper expired. Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Once again, I want to thank my moderator, Peter, for referring me to this video. Once again, from yet a very notorious anti-vegan YouTube creator, I don't want to give them any credit or any light to their channel, so we'll just refer to this person and their channel as VD. It's a very appropriate metaphor for the type of toxicity and just complete crappy nonsense that regularly comes from this content creator. Anyway, I was concerned when he first pointed out there's this video called like happy healthy vegan brain like it's gonna be yet another personal attack this time on my brain rather than me supposedly going bald or losing my eyebrows or having permanent crinkly lines on my forehead no a surprise this time it was about a video I just made a week or two ago about Max Lugavir the video I made about his mother's meatless diet supposedly causing her dementia in the title of his video he says bombshell Max Lugavir blames veganism for causing mom's dementia response. And I don't know if you can see that, but like the first comment there says his mother was a vegetarian, not vegan. So in her response to me, she raised two major objections. The first one, which is I think the least important one, is that I should have not used the word vegan in the title because Max's mom was clearly not a vegan. She was a vegetarian. I'll explain why in a second. It's really not that important. And and secondly, the, the most the, the big the biggest issue I thought she brought up is that she thinks she has debunked the position paper of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and it's improper for us vegans. In fact, she says we have mental illnesses if we if we continue to refer to this expired paper so let's proceed my mom was a vegetarian it's clear that her low meat diet didn't protect her so as you'll see here he's gonna blame his mom's vegetarian diet her meatless diet for not protecting her from a disease that can happen to any person on any diet but no it's the plant-based diet that caused her to suffer from dementia so my question to this vegan is that you heard him say his mom was a vegetarian and you said out of your own mouth that she was a vegetarian. So why do you have that he's blaming veganism for his mom's dementia when she wasn't a vegan? For perhaps the first time ever in VD's career, she may have actually brought up a valid point rather than just completely just nonsense, crazy, wacky, zany stuff like she usually points out, like, you know, pe pointing people's facial features and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, why did I use the word vegan in this video when I was talking about Max Lugavere's mom who wasn't vegan? Well, if you looked at Max's words again, he said, My mom was a vegetarian. It's clear that her low meat diet didn't protect her. So yeah, her low meat diet didn't protect her and vegans even have a lower meat diet. He's br blaming the lack of meat for not protecting her brain from dementia. So vegans would even have m a more lacking of meat. They'd have, no, there's no meat in vegan diets. So yeah, whatever he says about vegetarians having not enough meat to protect their brains from dementia, vegans would have it even worse. So yeah, therefore Max is implicating veganism when he blames vegetarianism. I know logic's not her strong point, right? Also, later on in this video, he quoted the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics where their expired paper saying the vegan diet is suitable for all stages of life. I mean, it doesn't really matter. These vegans have like severe um, mental issues. Mental issues? Do you even know what that means? Mental issues where you can tell them vegan, that paper expired. And not only did it expire, we can say, oh, well, so what? The date on the bottom passed. I know VD has absolutely zero training in academia and research and publishing. Position papers don't technically expire. I've never heard that phraseology ever be used in reference to a position paper. Expiration makes it sound like, you know, it's a bad, it has a bad date, after which it's just horrible. Like, you know, like say food has an expiration date, and after which, um, don't eat it. Don't consume it. You'll probably get sick. Bad things can happen to you. And it's not like that with position papers. It's saying they don't have a current position on vegan and vegetarian diets because that paper expired. They don't have a position at this time. That actually would be a more accurate way of saying it, that they don't have a position at this current time. And let's go take a look. Yeah, she mentioned how the site no longer has their position paper. Yes, yeah, so if you look at the current 13 position papers that the Academy has up right now on their website, the oldest one dates back to a 2017 publishing date. If you look at the position paper on vegan and vegetarian diets, it was published in 2015. And at the very end of the position paper, it says that this position paper has been updated 
periodically, about six or so times since 1987. Furthermore, they give the end date for this position paper, December 31st, 2019. Doesn't say everything they said here is crap and needs to be thrown away because it's dangerous. That's just how long this position paper lasts. Yes, it's been a few years since that date and we're still waiting for an update, but it doesn't mean all the science in there is to be completely disregarded. But are you going to continue to say they have a position? Yes, because there is something wrong with the vegans. They cannot accept reality. Talk about projection here. No, it's VD and other anti-vegans that cannot accept the reality that appropriately planned vegan diets are nutritionally adequate for all people. And this is not just the position of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. We'll get to that in a second. First of all, I want to know why you don't contact the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics yourself if you don't clearly these vegans they don't believe um anti-vegan and ex-vegan people when we say the academy of nutrition and dietetics paper is expired are you saying we need to contact the academy of nutrition and dietetics to fact check people like vd when they say the position paper is no longer on their website no this is an objective fact yes it's no longer on their website i don't think i don't see why how she can make this claim how we're detached from reality and delusional and we don't believe them yes it's no longer up on the website in fact like i showed it clearly says this position paper is in effect till a certain date strangely vd may have had a valid point here if it were the case Case that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics were the only health organization anywhere in the world that reviewed the scientific literature and came to a similar conclusion that appropriately planned vegan diets are nutritionally adequate. Well, turns out science has this one really nifty feature of being repeatable. Like what's true, what is true for the scientists here in California is not going to be different, say, for scientists elsewhere in the world, like say in Europe or Australia. In fact, there are many other health organizations all around the world who have come to similar conclusions as the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And in fact, I often show these people's position statements, these organization statements, more often than I show the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. I just happen to show their statement here because of something Max said later on in, in my video. So in the future now, I wonder how VD is going to respond to seeing vegans referring to, say, the British National Health Service, who say that you can get the nutrients you need from eating a very varied and balanced vegan diet. No expiration date on that statement. And there's also the Australian Dietary Guidelines, which says that appropriately planned vegetarian diets, including total vegetarian or vegan diets, are healthy and nutritionally adequate. So as we can all clearly see, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is far from being the only game in town when it comes to an organization of health professionals who have reviewed the scientific literature and put their reputations at risk by if they were to make a completely scientifically inaccurate and dangerous statement about the nutritional adequacy of vegan diets. Yet you still have anti-vegans like VD who think they've debunked veganism, which has nothing to do with health by the way it's an ethical stance against animal cruelty but it so happens to be a healthy diet as long as you do it in an appropriate manner but yet people like her think they've debunked veganism yeah veganism is debunked because the position paper expired in 2019 and all science along with it goes out the window and we don't care about what the dietitians in Australia and in Great Britain say we don't care that the science is weird there the laws of physics are completely different when you cross the ocean on top of that uh when you say he's blaming veganism for his mom's dementia was that like an intentional lie to get attention to your video or was that simply a moment of vegan brain fog or there's no such thing as vegan brain fog in fact if i'm seeing anyone with brain fog it's people like vd who seem to be incapable of understanding how science works and that there's other scientific organizations beyond the academy of nutrition and dietetics who have come to the same conclusions but no their one paper has an expiration date and because of that all and any science on the subject matter is completely null and void. Well, I'm sorry you brain fogged anti-vegans. That's simply just not how science works. Even though perhaps VD is technically right, maybe in the future until the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics makes their update to their position statement, I should refrain from showing that. And like I said, I have been moving towards showing these other organizations position statements and I will make more of a point to do that so that these anti-vegans have less of an issue to try to scream and cry. But you know they're just going to jump to 
some other thing. And what I'm saying is, even though we have these other position statements from, say, the National Health Service and Dietitians of Australia that are not expired, that's not going to matter to people like VD. Science, facts, reality, stuff like that <laughs> makes absolutely no difference. Their positions, these uh, anti-vegans, their beliefs are unchangeable. No matter what you can show them, how much of a slam dunk, how much, how much science behind it, doesn't matter. And I'm well aware of some of you guys have concerns about why am I even responding to such a nonsensical person like VD, known for such, so much hate and rancor on her channel. And you guys have an extremely valid point. And the primary reason why I'm responding actually is not to respond to her nonsense per se, but it's just a, I've been wanting to make a video about how this whole nonsense about the, the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics position paper is is expired or, or it's, it's out of date. And therefore, the whole mountain of science that supports plant-based diets is somehow completely shattered and gone because of that. Nope, the science still remains and there's other health organizations around the world who have looked into this matter as well. So I just want to address that once and for all. It's not like we had, we only had their position paper without which we're completely screwed and on our own about the nutritional adequacy of plant-based diets. Far from it. Nice try, anti-vegans. Let me see your next silly trick, okay? And maybe I'll make a response video to that, guys. But anyway, guys, leave your questions and comments down below. Were you aware that their position paper expired? Did it bother you? Did you think that after December 31st, 2019, that all the science that supported their position paper about plant-based diets is somehow no longer valid and needs to be discarded? And were you aware that there are other health organizations around the world, like the many I've cited, that support plant-based diets as far as following a sensible, balanced one? Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Hit like, subscribe, share this video, become a channel member and remember don't suck being vegan